Okay, each shard did a different amount of damage. Lads, the Rise of Midas event is officially over, and we've gone right into the first part of the Avatar The Last Airbender crossover event. The challenges to unlock Korra from your battle pass are now live, and she actually has two forms, among other things, such as a glider that I think is pretty awesome. We also got another round of the reboot rally in the game, and this is just free rewards for inviting some of your friends who may have fallen out of playing, and right now is the best time to invite them back, because Epic Games has added the first of the Bend powers, water bending, And this function's pretty similar to the anime mythics we've seen before, like the shurikens from Jujutsu Kaisen, but I think it's an overall improvement because it fires these in a cluster, and it has the added benefit of healing you while you're in water. Between the water bending mythic, the banana of the gods, and the new functions of the medkit, I think we're gonna see a whole new storm play meta in competitive modes. But we'll see how that plays out in the future. In today's video, I'm gonna get a win with the Korra skin and the water bending mythic, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this power to its max maximum ability. If you enjoy videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what your go-to loadout is right now and how you're feeling about this Avatar crossover. And of course, use code Sirehard in the Fortnite item shop. So here we are, the Easter egg to end all Easter eggs. We got the Avatar himself, the true Avatar, Aang and Appa, stuck inside the ice. But that won't be for long. Sorry, brother. Mm, that doesn't really benefit us. We're gonna finish searching. Oh, and we got a water bending mythic right off the drop. Let's go. Now that we got bananas. God, the loot pool's pretty dope right now, dude. Like such interesting items. Bananas of the gods. Water bending mythic, Icarus wings, which I kind of wish were better, but you know, we'll make do. Ah, we earned this chest. Ooh, a little sniper action for you as well. Looking at the water bending mythic, ice technique to hurl sharp projectiles grants passive healing while in water. Really? So the healing meta has totally changed with this mythic and the banana of the gods. Let's see how the attack works. Okay, so it's pretty similar to that Jujutsu Kaisen mythic that we had before. Or the Naruto uh, throwing knives, the shuriken. But it has the added benefit of passive healing if you get into water. Wow, you can literally just slide spam to finish this mission. Look at that. God, I hit him for 22 with that thing, dude. That's so lame. Of course, I'd get pulled up on right there, bro. Unfortunate, unfortunate. All right, well, we unlocked the Korra skin. So at the very least, maybe that's what it is. Maybe we need to switch skins on this one. I don't think anyone is bothering to come this far. The thing is, is that this island is wide. It's wider than any island I think we've ever had. So the bus ends up in like, it ends up with a quarter of the map unusable, essentially. Ah, uh -huh. see, we've perfected it. I don't think anyone's actually coming here though. Gold drum gun. Doesn't have sight on it, unfortunately. I would landed at Aang's Island a few times by this point, but this was the first time I landed before the storm spawned, and this chest in particular was always in the storm. So I decided to take a chance and see if it was worth my time. Honestly, don't know if that was worth it. Oh wow, it heals you as soon as you touch the water too. I think I'll be carrying the Mythic. I don't know if I'll actually use the Mythic for fighting, but I am going to carry it around. Just to have this easy healing on me. But then I don't got to carry the med kits, At least for a little while until endgame. I'll even take a couple flow berries, And I'll be taking flow berries over big shields just because of that extra movement. Oh, there we go. Took care of it. This drop would probably be even better in build mode. Look at all the material assets you have. Rock, tree, metal. 
I'm gonna have to try this spot out in uh, build ranks when we finally start running that. Check out my recent video about me running zero build rank, by the way. After you're finished with Aang's Island, you're gonna wanna head southwest to this lumber mill because there's quite a few assets here for you to grab, including an NPC, a bounty computer, and if you're lucky, even a free vehicle. And with all these assets, I'm able to absolutely troll this next battle. So we're gonna get him in the car, just because it's an extra gun. Whenever you're going car versus car, having that NPC firing their whip, just destroying it, it makes a big difference. The person who loses the car first usually loses. That poor guy, he had no chance. We absolutely grieved him. This moment shows why the Flowberry Fizz is hands down the best shield healing in the game right now. The enhanced jump height gives me the ability to go into a slide and I'm able to combo these slides to get a good amount of distance from my opponent. I poke for some shots, but I'm not at full health and realizing that this guy is gonna push forward, I decide to back up even more, which is a good tactic if you're in zero build. However, he gets a bit too greedy on this push, and I mow him down with that gold drum gun. Woo! Lean on that there bad boy drum gun. I love it. There ain't no way. Oh! Oh, you're so cool. Oh, my best friend ever. Dude, this NPC gives you a bit of everything. It might be better than the medic NPC because the medic NPC was failing me. When I was under pressure, it was more concerned with uh, shooting the other players than actually healing me. So it wasn't giving me the heals that I wanted. This one drops me the chugs and it drops me ammo and shockwaves. It's just like it's an all arounder. Well, you gotta land so far back on the map to actually get it. There's a third. That's who I'm more concerned with. Oh my god. Okay, each shard did a different amount of damage. We can come back for his stuff. Dude, this avatar, uh, this mythic waterbending item might have some play. I decided to take this purple drum gun over the gold simply because it has a scope on it. Since the storm's already here, I pretty much missed out on this bunker. She's so sweet to me, dude. Now it's important to know this mythic does not work in storm. So we need to be moving. Five minutes later. I luck into a sniper rifle and G-Wagon before endgame. So I keep utilizing the siege tactics with my hired NPC that I used earlier on. And while I don't get the Alim, it still works out very well. We're gonna go past this, see what's happening right now. He went inside, of course. Just lay some siege tactics on him. That wasn't me, but that's pretty cool that it worked out that way. Hold up, Nat. Okay, that's fine. We just go down and behind.
with how far the circle is and our lack of movement items, I'm just trying to play the situation as safe as possible. Oh, thanks for telling me, bro. Since I have water bending, I was considering taking the river into the storm. It would hurt, but I could heal once I got out. Thankfully, both of my enemies left first, and I was able to go right down the middle. But when I get to my next position, I'm being contested by two other players in this deep of an endgame. It's definitely not smart to take a fight in this situation. So I just pick a defensible corner and let my hired NPC take all the aggression. And while I do lose my NPC, they've set me up with a full stack of Chug Splash and the perfect timing for this victory royale. We might lose NPC here, but he's being weird, which is good. Give me a round, and... Reload. Don't throw. Go lateral. Don't throw. If you enjoyed this video, check out this video next to me about the first part of my grind to Unreal Ranked. And using this waterbending mythic, I don't know if the attack part is in the meta, but I will definitely be picking it up in future episodes of my Ranked run. I think you're going to see a lot of pro players using this, so definitely get on it before it's gone.